is a beginner's tutorial on how to start off using Quark Express. First off, we're going to get into the program, and I'm going to be using Quark Express, I believe this is in the nines. Uh, to find out what version you are, go to Quark Express and then about it up in the left hand corner. I'm using version 9.3.11, and uh, it, but honestly, I've been using Quark Express for the past now about 15 years or so, and there haven't been a ton of changes that. Uh, so even if you're using something a lot older, uh, it's still going to be the same basic fundamentals. And if you're using it for a Mac or Windows, uh, it works pretty well cross-platform. So you can watch this and uh, learn from any source and, uh, or any operating system, and it'll work great. Uh, to start off, we're going to create a new uh, project. And to do that, you could either just hit Apple N to create that. Uh, you could click right here and click the new project or library. Or finally, you could go click up on File and then click New Project. And it will come up with a layout. We can give this a uh, test layout. And you can also choose if you want to do this for print, web, if you want to create an ebook, App Studio, or something interactive. Uh, for the sake of this, we're going to use it for typesetting purposes. In later tutorials, I'll show you how to make an ebook. And for this, we're also going to be using the letter size, 8.5 by 11. It's very easy if you want to print on uh, anything else like legal or any of these other options. Uh, you can select them right there. And then you can also select if you want to have this in portrait portrait or landscape mode. Uh, you can see it automatically if you click landscape it switches it so the width is at 11 and the height is at 8.5. We're going to start it off at portrait and then you can do other things such as having it so you have automatic uh, facing pages. Uh, if you're printing out a book this can be very helpful or a newsletter. Uh, you can also select if you want an automatic text box. Uh, I usually leave this blank because I like to put in mine uh, automatically uh, or manually myself and the automatic one um, I feel takes away a little bit from your flexibility so I leave that one blank and then also here you can select all of your margins and so uh, if you're wanting to do it with half inch margins then you can just leave those all right there I believe the standard is to have them at one inch change them all and then you can also select if you want to start off with columns so if you want to start off with two columns uh, one column means just normal so if you do zero it will throw off an error because you're not allowed to do zero uh, one means regular uh, if you did two it will split it down the middle three it, you know sets it apart in three different sections that kind of thing uh, for a basic layout we're just gonna do one hit OK and here's our document. If you're not familiar with Quark, then uh, some of this may look kind of foreign to you. It definitely functions a lot differently than, uh, say, Microsoft Word or uh, some of the other um, different word processors. It's because Quark is not a word processor. It is a typesetting tool. So it has a lot more flexibility in some areas, but then it creates more manual work in others. So you just have to make sure that you know what you're getting into. Um, before you do it, but I do I love working in Quark. I've been doing it, uh, like I've said now, for over 15 years and have published a number of different books. And uh, because of that, it's, uh, it's one of my favorite tools to use. Uh, just to give a short synopsis on what these tools uh, functions are, uh, on the top left hand side, you'll see that you have a item tool. This is what you'll select if you want to move anything around. Right below it is a text content tool, and if you click on it and hold down, you can see you have your text box, and then you also have uh, the ability to link or unlink your text box, and we'll get into what that means later on. Uh, right here, you have your picture content tool. This is how you import images or other files. Uh, this is uh, These are your shapes, and you can select different shapes and uh, find different fun ways of using those uh, to create some different designs. If you want to add lines, you can do it right here. Uh, if you want to draw anything, uh, there's actually some pretty powerful drawing tools a lot of people don't know of in Quark, and so we'll get into 
to using those later. Uh, and then here we have our table tool. This is where you can add tables and in future tutorials you can see that not only can you add tables and create them manually here, you can add table elements and then import Excel uh, worksheets right into the system. And that's a really nice way of uh, being able to create your tables in Excel and then import them here. Um, and then uh, if you click on the zoom tool, this is where you can zoom in and out of the system uh, easily. Uh, some of the other navigation things you can do is, uh, and this is something you're going to be using on a regular basis, is your page layout panel here. And this is where you'll be able to see all your pages. So as opposed to Word where you have to zoom in and um, scroll down to get to your pages, this has all your pages right in one spot. And to create new pages, you can select your masters here and then just click and drag and you can add pages very easily. If you want to add pages side by side, you can click and drag them here and then scroll over and you can see you've added pages that way. To get rid of a page, just click on it, then right click, click delete page, hit OK, and that page is gone. So in, uh, Quark is very easy uh, to, in, in terms of navigation, I actually like it a lot better than other word processors. Um, and, and then the last section we'll go over for this part of the tutorial is the colors. So if you ever want to add any colors such as adding shapes or anything like that, we'll create a shape right here and then come over and we'll make it cyan. You can also do neat things like uh, adding a gradient. So you can do a linear blend just like that and pick color one being cyan, second one being black, and you have a nice little box right there. So uh, we'll get into using shapes and different objects like that later on in the course. Uh, but that is how to navigate through Quark Express and in the upcoming uh, episodes we're going to discuss how to add text boxes, how to format that text, and, uh, and go through every facet that uh, you could want to do to become an expert in using Quark. Thanks so much for your time.